Thomas and the Garbage Train. It was a hot, sunny day on the island of Sogo. All the engines chuffed cheerfully. Whiff and Scruff scrunched garbage in the garbage dump. And Thomas and Stanley biffed and bashed freight cars. Later, Thomas puffed into Brendam Docks. Sir Topham Hatt was there. Good morning, sir. It is a good morning, and a busy one. Whiff has to take these very heavy garbage cars to the garbage dump as quickly as possible. He will need help. You, Thomas, must be Whiff's back engine. Thomas was happy to help his friend Whiff. Of course, sir. Then, Diesel oiled over. Pulling those cars will make you a really stinky engine. Not a really useful one. Fooey, you're a stinking engine already. And Diesel <laughs> clattered away, <laughs> chuckling. Thomas huffed. Diesel's the silly, stinky engine. Whiff, are you ready to roll? Ready, Thomas! <laughs> and the two friends heaved and hauled happily away. At Marin Station, Whiff and Thomas had to wait for a signal. Thomas was surprised to see the Duchess of Boxford waiting. She looked upset. Good morning, ma'am. Can I help? Good morning, Thomas. I was hoping to have tea with Lady Hat, but Spencer is far too busy with the Duke of Boxford, and now I won't be able to go. I can take you, ma'am. I have to finish my job first, but later I can pick you up at Wellsworth Station. I'll make sure you're at Lady Hat's in time for tea. That made the Duchess very happy. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Thomas's axles tingled. Taking the Duchess to tea with Lady Hat is a very special special. Then, Diesel's words bubbled in Thomas's boiler. Pulling those cars will make you a really stinky engine, not a really useful one. If I'm a really stinky engine, the Duchess won't want me to take her to tea with Lady Hat. Thomas was worried, but Whiff didn't know. Are you ready to roll, Thomas? Ready to roll, Whiff! And slowly the two engines clickety-clacked along the track to a junction. One track led to a branch line. Suddenly, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I could puff along the branch line and join Whiff at the next junction. Then I won't be with this smelly garbage for so long. And I won't be a really stinky engine when I take the Duchess to tea with Lady Hat. Thomas was pleased with his idea. So, as Whiff puffed on alone along the main line, Thomas chuffed away onto the branch line. Thomas raced past a meadow of sweet-smelling flowers. This made him especially pleased. Hooray! Now I'll smell sweet. The Duchess will be happy when I take her to tea with Lady Hat. At a junction, Thomas buffered up to Whiff again. Whiff was puffing slowly. The train was heavy. Puff your hardest, Whiff! Puffing hard, Thomas! Gordon wished by Grant. Thundering tracks, your stinky, smelly engines. Thomas gasped. Fizzling fireboxes. Now Gordon thinks I'm smelly. I must find another track to leave this stinky garbage train. At the next junction, the left track went by the sea. I'll take the track by the sea. Then, I won't be so smelly. So, once again, Thomas left Whiff to steam on alone with the heavy garbage train. And Thomas huffed happily along the track by the sea. Hooray! I'm not a stinky, smelly engine anymore. The Duchess will be pleased. At the next junction, Thomas buffered up to Whiff once more. 
Whiff was tired and puffing slowly. The garbage train was very heavy. Whiff didn't know that Thomas had been away. Emily whooshed by. Phew, wee, Thomas! You're a stinky engine! Thomas gasped. Trembling tracks! I mustn't be a stinky engine for the Duchess. Thomas was even more worried. At the next junction, the right track went past the bakery. Thomas made a decision. I will puff past the bakery. Then I won't be a stinky engine, and the Duchess will still want me to take her to tea with Lady Hat. Thomas chuffed cheerfully along. Now I smell sweet again. But I mustn't be late for the Duchess. I'll have to huff my hardest to get to Wellsworth Station on time. But Thomas was late for the Duchess. He whooshed like the wind into Wellsworth Station. Whiff was there. Whiff was too tired to puff on. Thomas didn't see Whiff until it was too late. Cinders and ashes! He crashed and he bashed straight into the back of Whiff's garbage train. The garbage cars clattered and battered right off the rails. Stinky garbage and oily old engine parts toppled and tumbled over the tracks. Luckily, no one was hurt. The Duchess gasped in surprise. Oh my, are you all right, Thomas? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I've been a very silly engine. I thought I needed to smell sweet to take you to tea with Lady Hat. If I'd been really useful instead, I wouldn't have biffed into the garbage train and I wouldn't have made you late. Then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Ma'am, Whiff's a really useful engine. Can he take you to meet Lady Hat while I fetch Rocky to help me clean up this garbage? What a splendid idea, Thomas. Whiff, would you take the Duchess to tea with Lady Hat while I take the garbage train to the dump? All aboard, ma'am. What a fine engine you are, Whiff. And so really useful. Whiff huffed with pride. The Duchess of Boxford beamed. Chuff on! Later, Rocky had picked up all the garbage. You're ready to roll now, Thomas. Thank you, Rocky. Thomas huffed hard. The train was heavy and very, very smelly. Diesel oiled alongside Thomas. Fooey, you're the stinkiest steamy I've ever smelled. <laughs> Thomas smiled. I may be stinky, but I'm being really useful. Bye, Diesel. <laughs> On the way back from the waste dump, Thomas saw Whiff, the Duchess, and Lady Hat. Hooray for Whiff! Hooray for Thomas! And hooray for all really useful engines! <laughs> <laughs>